they were going to do, and they voted no. Pause you a second, Sarah. Sorry. Hold the thought, because we're just getting a declaration from Dundee. I, David Dorward, counting officer appointed for the Dundee City Local Government Area at the Scottish Independence Referendum held on the 18th September 2014, hereby certify and declare. The total number of ballot papers counted in the referendum in the Dundee City area is 93,592. The turnout is 78.8%. There were 92 rejected ballot papers, one for want of an official mark, 25 for voting in favour of both answers, six for writing or mark by which the voter could be identified, and 60 unmarked or void for uncertainty. The total number of votes cast in relation to each answer to the referendum question in this area is as follows. Yes, 53,620. No, 39,880. Well, those are the uh, results in from Dundee. And it is a yes victory in Dundee. And let's look at the margin, 53,620 to 39,000. 880. The turnout significantly lower than we've seen elsewhere. It is 79%. Uh, look at the percentage share, uh, and there you have 57% for the yes campaign and 43 for the no, 14% margin. Uh, Sarah, thoughts on that? Well, it's significant that this is the first place which has returned a yes vote. It's no surprise that Dundee voted yes. Alex Salmon calls it the yes city. It was the, play, the city in Scotland he most expected to go yes. It's, I mean, it's a good result for them. It's not quite as good as they would have hoped. The 57%, they could have expected to do a bit better than that in Dundee. We've just been joined by Brian Taylor, um, a Scotland political editor. Good to see you, Brian. Um, OK, your take so far. It, it, it looks as if it's going to be a, a no outcome. There we are. There's the sort of insight that I've become uh, uh, used to down the years. But I think a couple of things emerge from that. If it is a no outcome, if it is a no outcome based upon the prospectus that Gordon Brown advanced towards the, 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 the close of the campaign, then I think two things arise from that. One, will Westminster generally, in both the lower and upper house, accept Gordon Brown's analysis that the unalloyed sovereignty of Westminster is at an end? I suspect there'll be some who will dispute that. Secondly, the, the plan itself, the vow, the promise, whatever you like, remains fairly vague. Will detail be put upon that? And will it be in line with the detail that Mr. Brown was suggesting, which was that this was in effect uh, home rule for Scotland and would involve substantial tax powers. If it is, what, what will those tax powers be? Um, secondly, there's a second uh, issue arising, I think, again, stress, if, if it is a no, we've now had a, a couple of big councils and it's still looking towards a no direction. If it is a no, what will the impact be upon the, the SNP? Uh, I, I suspect that there, there will obviously be a introspection within the SNP, but I suspect that that will be contained introspection because they will have, first of all, the UK general election to fight, the prospect of seeking to retain their power at Holyrood, and thirdly, thirdly, above all, perhaps in the short term, trying to drive forward the option of more powers. 